Hello, today we're looking at an often overlooked ground cover called Persicaria. Overlooked because its common name is knotweed. People associate that with the invasive Japanese knotweed, but we're not looking at that today. That's Fallopia japonica. Persicaria is a lovely ground cover, easy to maintain, hardy in winter. You don't have to bring it inside. Easy to propagate, very easy to split up, take semi-ripe cuttings from. Several different forms, which I'm about to go through with you, um, hopefully to give you some nice ideas for your garden. Also included a little bit of film that uh, John and I filmed last summer, telling you what persicaria we have in our garden and why it suits us. Welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now and on this channel we're hoping to help you develop your gardening skills. Whether you're new to gardening and can use some tips on propagation, growing some vegetables, a little bit of pest control, or whether you're a seasoned horty who could always use some extra tips and advice. If you like learning those things do consider following us. There's no charge, just push the subscribe button. If you push the notification bell that lets you know every time we upload a new video. First we have Persicaria affinis. This is a species which is especially good for anyone wanting a good hard-working ground cover. It is a low grower, it looks great at the front of a border, it can nestle under shrubs attracting lots of insects, it's lovely in a rock garden. But try not to let it smother your other plants though. It's a lovely herbaceous perennial, it flowers from summer to autumn and its dead leaves do stay on over winter. It's easy to split, best done in spring or autumn but you will get loads of them to plant out elsewhere and the variety to look out for is Darjeeling Red, so called because the leaves do go a red colour in the winter. Another species is Persicaria amplexicolis. This is taller, it's a clump grower, grows up to just over a metre or thereabouts. It's a semi-evergreen perennial, good one for not running rampant as it does actually stay where you put it. It's a good border plant, it's a good prairie plant, Give it plenty of space though but it is excellent ground cover. It's a good one for late summer flowering and varieties to look out for are Alba and Red Baron amongst others. They do self-seed and again good for splitting up and for taking semi-ripe cuttings. Persicaria bistorta. This one may suit drier conditions. Superba with its fat pink bottle brush type flowers are great for late spring colour. It grows to about 90 centimetres tall and suits partial shade or indeed put it in full sun, but again, it's very easy to split in the spring or autumn. Moving on to Persicaria vaccinii folia. This species is very good for covering walls. It's another low grower, grows to about 15, 20 centimetres, very attractive as a wallflower and amongst rockery. It's a bit of a creeper, this one. I really like it, actually. Persicaria campanulata is a good bog plant, it's vigorous, it takes sun to shade, flowers summer to autumn. Southcombe white works very well. If you've got some woodland it's a good plant for that too. Next up is Persicaria microcephala. Those looking for a good foliage ground cover really can't go wrong with red dragon. A good midsummer to autumn flowerer, it's a great suggestion for hot borders. Or if you're thinking about getting a tropical section going, also it looks good amongst ferns and hostas. It's less vigorous than other species, it is semi-evergreen. It produces a dense ground cover, so do watch it, that, so that it doesn't run away with you. Again, good for splitting and taking cuttings, and give it a good cut back in the autumn. If you are limited for space, try Persicaria miletii. It grows to about 60 centimetres tall. It is a semi-evergreen clumper, beautiful crimson summer flowers, good in full sun and partial shade. Why not try it in a wildflower meadow? Having said that, Persicaria is not a wildflower. It is a garden plant. People wanting a variegated leaf do try Persicaria virginiana. Painter's palette, this is a good one. It has beautiful chevron foliage. It's very striking. There's also Compton's form. There's Lance Corporal, again with really clear bright chevrons. Virginiana is always good in a large group and it likes partial shade too. Something a little different is Persicaria capitata, pink bubbles. My favourite, to be honest, I love this one. It's semi-evergreen, it's a summer flowering one, and takes a moist soil and partial shade. This one isn't completely hardy though. It does usually overwinter as seed, but ours does come up again year on year, just out the back here. John also has some in a container, so something to think about if you have a courtyard or patio. It's a matting type and a tad different from those with upright stems, and again, it's got the chevron foliage. A few vigorous ones are Persicaria ranculata, for example, Purple Fantasy. This produces its best color in light shade. There's also Persicaria polymorphia, this flowers spring to summer in sun and partial shade, but it does sucker vigorously. 
it can become invasive, so do watch out for that one if you go for it. Persicaria wallichii. This has a grace and elegance about it, but keep an eye on that too. It can become rampant. It can be a bit of a thug. You may have seen it by the roadside. You may have seen it on banks or by the side of streams. Do be careful if you go for that. This little plant has uh, come into a corner of the uh, of the uh, the area here. It's growing right over the slabs. It's a very attractive little persicaria, uh, persicaria affinis, uh, a spreading plant, pretty little flower, and uh, I think it looks rather lovely. I'd much rather have that than the, the concrete slabs. But if you did need to use the slabs, if you wanted to put something up here, you could still do so. So that gives you the best of both worlds. We did have quite a big clump of it all the way over there, but um, Juno, the dog, had a friend here one day and they had a play which went on for about an hour and destroyed the middle of it, but it's coming back. We'll forgive her for that. Uh, I just like the idea of plants working together. Um, I'll just control them to a certain extent, but mostly I want them to be happy, I want them to grow together, and then of course in, in amongst all this you get the wildlife, you know, we have the slow worms, we have the, the every night I see a, a toad hopping around here. We have lots of newts in the pond, uh, and of course birds come down. Uh, we have lots of butterflies, we have lots of bees, pollinating insects. It's just a very happy place to be, to be living and to be gardening in a rather natural term. Well, we do hope that helped you, gave you some ideas for those little awkward spots in your garden. If you like that, do consider following us, push the subscribe button, ding the notification bell. Thanks so much for joining us here in Somerset. We've really enjoyed having you. Enjoy the rest of your week. Until next time.